Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Demetrius here and today we're going to be installing a Lutron light switch. So I'm actually going to be changing these bank of lights. So if you want to learn how to easily change this as it is a DIYable thing, however, because it's electricity we're dealing with here, there's certain things that you need to do first, like turning off the fuse box, this section of the room off so you don't get electrocuted. If you're not comfortable doing any electrical work, like changing a light switch, then I strongly suggest to hire a licensed electrician because if you uh, you can void your insurance, cause damage, cause other problems, etc. But these are fairly easy. I've already changed three light switches in here. How many? One, two, three, four. I've done four light switches already in here, so it is doable. So this is gonna be a video to show you how. So you're gonna need a few things. Okay, so one of the first things you'll need is not a light stand, but you're gonna need a light of some sort that isn't powered by electricity on the plug. You're gonna need a battery bank for that. So the, this one's USB powered. I'm gonna show you the battery bank I'm using. And this is gonna give me some lighting so I can see what I'm doing when I'm changing the light switch as they're gonna be off because you're gonna switch it off from the fuse. This is the Anchor battery power pack I'm gonna be using, it's fully charged. This will give me more than enough power. Use the light ring on my light stand where I can, actually it's two in one, I can film and we have provide light at the same time so you guys can see. You need the screwdriver, that's the next thing. So this one obviously has many bits on it. You're gonna need a flat head and a Phillips screw head. You're gonna need pliers and it's gonna help with the wiring if it is a little bit fiddly plus because i'm installing on a four gang box we're going to have to remove some tabs as well which i'm going to show you on that too you're also going to need your light switch oh and by the way i know this came in the unboxing as well but this will be in another video and i will tag that up well it just up here somewhere it will be there I'll tag that unboxing video and explain what this is. Bring your phone with you because when you are changing a light switch, it's always handy to take photos of the before. So if you have the original photograph of that switch, how it was wired and take clear pictures, just take as many as you want. The more is better than not having any, but let's continue. Okay, first step is locate your fuse box. You should know where it is. And now, your electrician should have labeled all the fuses and what they activate, whether which room it is, whether it's plugged, whether it's light, whatever it may be. So I'm just gonna locate kitchen. Let's have a look here. Oh, here we go, it's right in front of me, kitchen light. So if I do this now, that just turns off all my kitchen lights. So as you can see, I've all the kitchen lights are off and a way to test it to make sure it's off is just play with the lights. If there's no action, you know that it's off. But these are the light switches, so this is the actual light we're changing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So we're good here, we're safe. So as you can see here, this is the light we're gonna be changing. And I'm gonna to need to be removing these tabs as well, these ones on the side here, so it can fit next to this light switch because there's no room here. So first thing is we're gonna unscrew this and then take some photos. Okay, so when I pulled this out, this wire was actually loose. The, this black wire comes from this light switch and this one comes into this uh, wire nut and then this feeds into this switch. The green switch is grounded, so that's correct, that's fine. You don't need to touch the white wires, they're fine. We're gonna fix this anyway when we look at the Lutron instructions. I'm also going to take this one out and then put the remote in and then wire it up to the kitchen bank light. I'm gonna show you that one too. So here you can see the red and black wires which is connected to the other switch on the other side of the kitchen and they're connected into the switch which sends power there. This black line 
uh, is the power coming in, which then feeds into this switch and then feeds into the next switch and then feeds into the next switch. Those three uh, black and white lines are the power coming in to power all the switches and the white wires are neutral. You can leave those alone. They stay there. Now we're just removing the tabs either side. Note that doing this reduces the wattage for incandescent and halogen bulbs. Disconnected. Okay, so first step, make sure that you ground the wire. So it may be easier to actually just put the kink in it first and then you can wrap it around the screw. Now Lutron says these are both black wires so you can connect either of them. Before I unscrew this and adjust it for the Pico remote, I want to test, make sure everything works. So I'm just going to leave it hanging out for now and I'm just going to put the fuse back on and all the light should work. As you can see, there's power here, no problem. And so now I'm going to work on the Pico remote. So with the Pico remote, this, there's not going to be a switch here. It's just going to be a remote, but you still need power. But I've taken a picture and we'll go from there. Okay, sorry about guys. I had to go off camera for a bit because this was getting very frustrating because the switch in the middle was in the way. As this is a three-way switch, I have to send power to the other side of the kitchen. So the red wire is connected to the two black wires where the power is coming from. And then the third black wire is just capped off for safety. You don't need to do anything with it as per the Lutron instructions. And I just checked by switching the light back on, we're all good, everything works and connected. So now it's gonna shove this all back in the box, put in the Pico remote here, and then we should have everything working. I'm going to connect this uh, Pico remote with this light switch here, so that because it's a three-way switch, so this light and this remote are connected together to control these bank of lights. These are really easy to sync up. So all I'm gonna do is hold the bottom button for six seconds until they start flashing. There you go. And then I'm gonna hold the off button on the Pico remote for six seconds and then they should sync. So they are synced, now I can put this into the wall. So there we have it guys, and I cleaned up this area with a magic eraser. The lights will work, so I can click the Pico remote. Lights come on, lights come off. You can probably see in the shadows over here, the light come. So it's all connected now. Now we need to add this to HomeKit, so that's what we're gonna do next. And just as an FYI, if you're going to be adding Lutron switches to HomeKit, you're gonna need the Lutron hub here and the Lutron app. But you only need it for the installation, then you can just hide it in your app drawer and you don't really need to use it, you use solely the uh, home app. So I'm recording off my iPad right now but, and I'm screen recording on my iPhone, so I'm going to show you how to add this light to HomeKit. So I'm going to scroll down, you type in Lutron, and as you can see this is everything that's connected so far. We need to go into add a few more devices. Add, add a device, and it's just searching, there we go. So we want to first of all add the light switch. I think that's going to be the first thing to do. Uh, so we'll switch to dinner. And then it says press and hold the LED button for uh, 10 seconds. And as you can see, it's now found it. So where are we going to locate this? So this is obviously in the kitchen. Click next. Uh, then you select the type of light it is. So I'm just going to put in ceiling lights, main. Click next. Yep, main lights one and two, that's fine by me. Click next, and it's just switching them off. It's probably syncing everything. Back on again, and then I want that's done. So now I can add another device. 
Oh, there's one here added already. So if I go to edit device, I can go to room, kitchen, save. And then we can go kitchen, kitchen, Pico remote. And then click done. And then it's all categorized here in Lutron. So now we can exit this. We can go into the app. And you can see that it's already added into HomeKit. We really didn't have to do anything. Every Lutron's taking care of everything for us. On and off. And then all you need to do now is just add it to your scene. So if I do now uh, good morning, hold down the tile and scroll down, click add move accessories. It would say main lights two. So I can add that now. So there you go, when I say good morning, come on at 100%. And then close the, the scene. And it's the same with any other scene that you have available. Just tick the lights two or whatever you've named it. And then adjust the settings accordingly. And there we have it guys. Um, the trickiest part really is probably the wiring because you can be confused with the amount of wiring. Again, this is relevant to Canada. Uh, the wiring will vary from country to country. So again, check with Lutron's website because they all have uh, help there and they have either uh, PDF diagrams or video diagrams or step-by-step -step guides and it will guide you every step of the way. And in the end, if you're stuck, maybe you know an electrician as a friend who may be able to help you out. If you don't, I strongly advise to hire a licensed electrician to do this for you. And then the home kit part you can do yourself because that's really easy. But safety first, which is always you turn off electricity and check. Make sure you do those first. All the products that I have used today, I will link in the description box down below, including the light ring, the battery pack, uh, and the light switch. So I'll do that for Amazon US, Canada, UK. So you will have all those product links in the description box down below. And I think that's it, guys. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for future content as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.